Here's a 2015 Cadillac SRX, 49,000 mile, one owner with a clean Carfax and a dark navy blue. Uh, very sharp vehicle here. Cadillac always gives you a luxury uh, sport utility that comes with all the options and amenities. Uh, we'll start our tour with a high intensity headlamps there to really brighten your road. Uh, also, you can see your driving license signal lights in the same pod. Also, as you can see, it does have the ultrasound uh, sound, uh, sensors in the bumper all the way around. You'll find those in the rear of most cars, but it's also in the front of this one to make sure you're not bumping into anything either go moving forward or backwards. As we continue around to the side, we got Michelin tires here, which are at least half tread or better. Also, you can see a split spoke, multi-spoke alloy wheel, nice resurface rotor and thick brake pad. It's one thing we really pride ourselves here at Thomas. We do a used car mechanical check on all our vehicles. You can find the results of that inspection signed out by the technician that performed it in the glove box of all of our cars. We look in now through the driver's side passenger seat. You can see that we got a light leather, light gray leather trimmed bucket seats, a full console that flows in between, dark charcoal carpeting. You can see the two-tone of this dash. This color matches your leather seating. This color matches your carpeting. We do have some offset white stitching there, some brushed aluminum around the louvers. Uh, that pattern continues throughout the door panel here. Uh, very much when you open up this vehicle, you can tell you're in a luxury brand or trim. Now, this would be a mid-size SUV segment, five-passenger ability. You can see there, very ample leg, hip, and shoulder room for your rear occupants. Very clean interior there as well. Uh, moving around to the rear wheel, just to show you, it does have the matching Michelin tires. No scuffs or scrapes on that alloy wheel either. We'll continue around to the back. You can see the nice SRX styling. Also want to show you, uh, is equipped with a factory backup camera there, as you can see. We got a power lift gate that goes up on its own, which is a nice feature. You can see you have your privacy shade here as well. We got your uh, uh, nice deep well there to keep some belongings. Uh, nice trimmed out rear uh, cargo area there, as you can see with power supply. So all that is very nice. A uh, little organization for cargo in the back. Uh, one button will put this hatch down. You also have the ability to use the key to do that. Continue around to the driver's side again to show you matching Michelin uh, split spoke wheel there, scuff and scrape free. And we'll give you a look here through the driver's side rear. But you can see this vehicle is very, very clean. Uh, no rips, tears, stains, or odors. Previous owner was a non smoker. It was very well maintained. And we'll just show you the front section as well. Biggest thing is you can see the full passenger power seat here on this driver's side. Also, want to show you it is equipped with memory seating. Uh, programmable with both key fobs. We'll adjust your mirrors, your seat, and your radio preferences. Now, before we get into the uh, tour, I like to show the integrated fob on this proximity key. Of course, there's your power lift gate release, and of course, it is equipped with factory remote start. Uh, now, as we continue the tour, do have the ability to adjust the height of that power lift gate on how far it comes up uh, or turn it off completely. That toggle is right there on the door. Also, have your door locks your windows and your mirrors all located on that switch pod. You also can see the chrome door sill entry guards illuminated with the Cadillac logo and name, which is a nice feature. Now I explained to you our mechanic analysis that's kept in the glove box. As you can see here is the one under clean history report that will always be on the dash. Now let's put our foot on the brake, push the start stop button. You see 49,930 miles, so just shy of 50,000 miles. Now we'll continue the tour here. You have your headlamp controls with your automatic setting on the left. Got your dimmer switch for your cluster beside it. High beams and turn signals there. Uh, we also have your intermittent wiper washers front and rear to the right. Got your Bluetooth forward collision warning. Heated steering wheel, uh, cruise control, all those uh, items there on your right. Audio controls on the steering wheel, excuse me, on the left, get the right and the left mixed up on the left. On the right is your audio controls on your steering wheel. This is the upgraded uh, sound system, AM, FM, and satellite sound. Also dual climate control for both occupants. Heated seats on both sides, as you can see those buttons as well. Single CD below, there's your hazards. Uh, we also have a nice little tray there to kind of hidden, keep your belongings. Uh, we also have your ability here, as you can see, to turn off your lane departure, your park sense, or to put the transmission in economy mode for more fuel-saving shift points. 
Also have your uh, park reverse drive with your manual tap up to up shift down to down shift. Electronic parking brake, two large cup holders. And in this center console, we have two different levels. The first is just a small little change level. The second, you'll see your connectivity, 12 volt power supply, USB and audio pre-in, as well as a nice deep well there to keep your belongings. All GM vehicles are equipped with OnStar. This one also has an auto dim rear view mirror. They have illuminated visors, as you can see. And it has your power sunroof. So I'm gonna open this huge shade it's going to go all the way back, and as it goes all the way back, I'll show you. Once it gets done, it's almost there. Now it's done. You can see you have panoramic glass, so all the way to the rear occupants. I'll move it back the whole way up and down over the whole roof. Panoramic glass roof, really nice. My wife has that on her car. She says she won't take it any other way from here on out. LED map lights there as well. So anyway, V6 engine. Stop oohing it on over the sunroof. Let's go to this V6 engine here and show you what we got. Uh, I believe it's a 3.6 liter variable valve timed engine. Uh, same engine, I believe, that they put in a lot of the GM vehicles. Uh, you know, Yukons, Acadias, things of that nature. As soon as I can find the hood release, I will show you. There it is. I see V6, 3.6 liter variable valve timed engine. Now there's not a lot to show you. There's a lot of shrouding on this engine, but I can tell you there's no exhaust leaks, no fluid leaks. All the terminals are nice and clean, corrosion free. Very, very well maintained vehicle. As you can tell, it's been very clean and very well maintained. So uh, everything you would run underneath the hood there. Let's go ahead and shut it off. We'll get into the last portion of this video. Last part I really think differentiates us as a business and a brand. We already explained the mechanical report in the glove box and the auto history report on the dash. Last part of making an informed buying decision is me walking around here showing you any minor imperfections this vehicle may have. It is a used vehicle. You can expect it to have some. We try to buy these vehicles, a couple chips there. Absolutely as clean as possible with no accidents on the history. Uh, we really want to give you a light new alternative and a new car looking car at a used car price uh, it isn't easy for us to find these cars but we do our very best uh, to protect our brand uh, ourselves and our customers of course first and foremost um, you know the quarter panel there looks good the bumper fascia looks good I really haven't noticed any dents a couple of little stone chips and whatnot here on this uh, hatch panel uh, but uh, really really clean a couple more little chips and scrapes there nothing to be alarmist probably the biggest scratch i noticed little inch and a half or there half moon uh rest of it looks good very minor scraping there you can see we buffed them out catch it in the right light you can see it but you wouldn't notice it standing beside here um a couple little minor scratches there as well in that quarter uh do have our first dent right there i think i can catch it pretty easily in the light you can see it there First dent I've noticed. Door looks good. Front door looks fine as well. A couple little chips back of that mirror cover. Front fender the same, just a few little minor chips. And we're gonna have a few across the front. A little bit of bug damage, a minor spattering of chips there. I'll just quickly pan across them. I'll point every one out. Uh, but got a little bug damage there on the hood as well. A couple little chips there also. But Really, guys, light new alternative. Still does have a little, very, very little of the uh, manufacturer's remaining coverage left. Uh, comprehensive and powertrain. Uh, so you can buy this vehicle with confidence. Now, if you're interested in a few ways of getting a hold of us, look us up on the web, www.thomasata.com. Give us a call at Eric Kid 717-485-4224. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. I hope you found it beneficial, and I wish you an excellent day.